One of my favorite quotes of all time comes from this gentleman named Jim Rohn. And he said, success isn't something you pursue, it's something you become. The theme of today's video are Dr. Cliff and I's three best tips. We're gonna tag team it again on who you need to become so that you can wake up every day and become wildly successful. I will start with my number one. If you want to be successful, you have got to be the most consistent human being of all time. And I'm talking seven days a week. You've got to be consistent in your actions. Dr. Cliff, what's that would yours? That would be one of my number ones. The one I had was passion. You gotta have passion for, for what you're about to commit your life to. Your time, energy, money, and focus. I love passion, and uh, sadly, as it is Saturday and it's football day, <laughs> if people would take the t same level of passion they have for their sports team and apply it to their life, it'd be wild what happens. But I'm gonna go into my number two, and it is on, I'm actually gonna cheat here, but they both start with S, sacrifice, in self-discipline if you are not willing to sacrifice instant gratification activities it's probably not going to happen for you you've got to sacrifice and self-discipline is part of that and why I connected the two you've got to have the self-discipline to sacrifice or it's not gonna happen for you. Dr. Cliff, what's your numero do so? My number two is results. Like you gotta get results. So many people say, oh, I didn't get that done. They have all these excuses, but at the end of the day, nobody cares about all that stuff. They just care. Did you get it done? And not what other people are expecting, but from yourself. Did you do what you were gonna say? Are you getting results or are you having excuses? Yes, by the way, it is annoying to hang out with people who make excuses. I'm sure you feel the same. So don't be a person who ever makes excuses. But my number three, and I hope this makes sense to you, we become a very event-driven society early in our lives and we're constantly looking way, way, way out into the future. And because of that, we're never present. Success happens one day at a time. And if you can be successful for one day, you can be successful for two, and then you'll see you can be successful for three, and then that noise in your head that says you're not capable of success, it goes away. But you have to remember, success is one day at a time, and honestly, it's just one moment at a time. Bring it home, baby. Damn, brother, I don't know how to top that. So for me, it was really about honoring the word of myself. So which is very similar to some of yours, but it's honoring that word to yourself and you defining success and not letting the world define success. So often we give that away instead of us defining success for us. There's only one of you that's ever gonna be on this planet. And so don't let the world define success for you. And by the way, it was a lot of stuff Dr. Cliff said, and we'll close out with this. Let's call it a bonus tip. But Steve Jobs <laughs> always said, give him one more, baby. <laughs> we live in a world with people who have very low self-esteem in fact they usually have zero self-esteem they usually have others esteem and if you want to rebuild your self-esteem it is in direct correlation to how well you keep your word with yourself if you don't keep your word with yourself your self-esteem will be the same place that you go do your number twos in <laughs> so keep your word with yourself don't let your self-esteem be in the toilet. And share in the comments below, what are your three best tips on being successful? Let's start a wisdom train. Choo, 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 choo. Anything else you want to say and close nope. out? That's a wrap. All right, we'll see you next time.